As we look ahead to the winter of 2025 to 2026, many across Europe are wondering, will it be snowy and cold or mild and wet? Every year as the days grow shorter and the temperatures begin to drop, conversations turn to the weather. Will we see a white Christmas or will rain and wind dominate the season? For millions, the answer isn't just about curiosity, it affects travel plans, heating bills, and even the mood of entire cities. But what really determines whether Europe shivers under a blanket of snow or splashes through puddles all winter long? The answer often comes down to a powerful climate driver called the North Atlantic Oscillation, or NAO. This atmospheric phenomenon is one of the most important factors shaping Europe's winter weather. Yet it's something most people have never even heard of. Think of the NAO as a giant atmospheric seesaw stretching across the North Atlantic Ocean. On one side, it can tip to unleash stormy Atlantic weather, drenching cities from Dublin to Berlin. On the other, it can swing the opposite way, opening the door for icy Arctic blasts to sweep down from the north, bringing snow and bitter cold to places that might otherwise be mild. The NAO is all about the air pressure difference between two key players the Icelandic Low, a semi-permanent area of low pressure near Iceland, and the Azores High, a high-pressure system near the Azores Islands. These two pressure centers act like the ends of a seesaw, constantly shifting and influencing the weather patterns that reach Europe. When the pressure difference between the Icelandic Low and the Azores High is large, the NAO is said to be in its positive phase. When the difference is small, it's in the negative phase. These shifts might seem subtle, but they have a huge impact on the weather you experience every day during winter. This shift in pressure drives the jet stream, a fast-moving high-altitude river of air that acts like a conveyor belt for storms and cold snaps. The jet stream's path determines whether Europe gets battered by Atlantic storms or chilled by Arctic air. It's the invisible force steering the weather systems that shape our winters. In the positive phase, the jet stream barrels straight across the Atlantic, bringing mild, wet, and often windy weather to much of northern and western Europe. Cities like London, Amsterdam, and Paris can expect frequent rain, gray skies, and relatively mild temperatures. It's the kind of winter where you rarely see snow but you never leave home without an umbrella. In the negative phase the jet stream weakens and meanders allowing cold Arctic air to spill south into Europe. This can bring heavy snowfall, icy winds, and prolonged cold spells, especially to central and eastern parts of the continent. Suddenly, cities that are usually wet and mild can find themselves blanketed in snow and gripped by freezing temperatures. The NAO's phase is the first thing meteorologists check when building a winter forecast. It's a crucial piece of the puzzle, helping experts predict whether to expect storms, snow, or a mix of both. Understanding the NAO can give you a head start on preparing for whatever winter has in store. In this video, we'll break down the positive and negative NAO phases, explain what they mean for different parts of Europe, and explore how another powerful climate pattern, La Nina, could shake things up this winter. These global forces interact in complex ways, sometimes amplifying each other, sometimes working against each other, making each winter unique. By the end, you'll know what shapes your winter weather, why some years are so different from others, and how you can prepare for whatever comes your way, whether it's snow, rain, or a bit of both. Ready to dive into the fascinating world of the North Atlantic Oscillation? Let's get started and uncover the secrets behind Europe's ever-changing winter weather. Scene Transition Let's begin by exploring the positive phase of the North Atlantic Oscillation, or NAO, a key player in shaping Europe's winter weather. This atmospheric phenomenon is like a giant seesaw, with pressure differences between the Icelandic low and the Azores high acting as the fulcrum. When the NAO is in its positive phase, the pressure contrast between these two regions becomes especially pronounced. This strong pressure difference supercharges the westerly winds, sending them racing across the North Atlantic. The jet stream becomes faster and straighter, acting like a conveyor belt that delivers a steady stream of mild, moist air from the ocean straight into northern Europe. These powerful winds can whip up storms and keep the weather patterns moving quickly. For countries in northern Europe, think the UK, Ireland, Scandinavia, and Germany, this means winters that are not only milder but also much wetter than usual. Rainfall is frequent, storms are common, and temperatures often hover above freezing. People find themselves reaching for umbrellas and raincoats more often, as city streets glisten with rain and rivers swell with runoff. 
While the milder temperatures can be a relief for those worried about high heating bills, the downside is an increased risk of flooding and wind damage. Rivers can overflow, urban areas may see waterlogged streets, and strong winds can topple trees or damage rooftops, keeping emergency crews busy throughout the season. Meanwhile, southern Europe experiences a very different story. The Azores High expands and pushes storm systems northward, leaving countries like Spain, Italy, southern France and Portugal with drier, sunnier weather. While this means more days of beautiful blue skies, it also brings challenges. Water supplies can dwindle, reservoirs may run low, and farmers worry about crops as the land becomes parched. Central Europe finds itself in a sort of weather limbo. Winters here are generally milder than average, but not as stormy or wet as in the north. People might enjoy more comfortable temperatures and less snow, but the region still feels the influence of the shifting jet stream. The Alps, famous for their winter sports, can be hit especially hard. With less snow at lower elevations, ski resorts may struggle to open runs, and tourism can take a hit. The lack of snow not only affects recreation, but also the local economy and water resources for the coming spring. So in summary, a positive NAO phase brings a dramatic contrast, mild, wet, and stormy winters to the north, while the south basks in dry, sunny conditions. This north-south divide shapes everything from daily life to agriculture and energy use across the continent. Scene Transition The winter of 2019 to 2020 was a textbook positive NAO season. Northern and Western Europe saw one storm after another, with the UK recording its fifth warmest winter ever. Snow was scarce and flowers bloomed early. Scandinavia's mountains had less snow, affecting hydropower, while Spain and Portugal faced drought as the Azores high blocked rain. Ski resorts in the Alps struggled with high snow lines and relied on artificial snow. This winter showed how a strong, positive NAO can reshape the season, mild and wet in the north, dry in the south, and big impacts for energy, water, and tourism. Scene Transition Now let's flip the seesaw to the negative NAO. Here, the pressure difference weakens, the jet stream buckles, and cold Arctic air can surge south. A blocking high over Greenland stops mild Atlantic air letting frigid air spill into Europe. Northern Europe gets colder, drier winters with bursts of heavy snow. Southern Europe, by contrast, gets wetter and stormier as the storm track shifts south, good for reservoirs but risky for floods. Central and Eastern Europe are hit hardest, with Siberian air bringing deep freezes and major snowstorms. This is when the beast from the east can strike, paralyzing cities and disrupting daily life. A negative NAO winter is the kind people remember for decades. The contrast with a positive NAO couldn't be sharper. Scene transition. The beast from the east in early 2018 was a classic negative NAO event. A sudden stratospheric warming triggered a blocking high unleashing Siberian air across Europe. The UK and Ireland saw major snow and record cold with cities grinding to a halt. Even Rome woke up to snow. Temperatures stayed below freezing for over a week in parts of Germany and Poland, straining energy grids. Flights were cancelled, schools closed, and infrastructure was pushed to its limits. The beast from the east showed how a negative NAO can transform Europe's weather overnight. Scene Transition For winter, 2025 to 2026, there's another player, La Nina. La Nina cools the Pacific, but its effects ripple worldwide, including Europe. Historically, La Nina increases the odds of a negative NAO, especially from January onward. This means a higher chance of Arctic air and snow for Northern and Central Europe later in the season. La Nina doesn't guarantee a negative NAO, but it tips the scales. Seasonal forecasters are watching this closely. The Pacific and Atlantic are more connected than you might think. This winter, La Nina could be the wild card that brings a colder, snowier second half. Scene Transition The North Atlantic Oscillation or NAO might sound like a distant scientific concept, but its phase has real and immediate consequences for daily life across Europe. Every winter the NAO quietly shapes the routines, challenges and comforts of millions of people, often without them even realizing it. When the NAO is in its positive phase during winter, the weather tends to be milder than usual. This means people spend less on heating their homes, and there are fewer disruptions from heavy snow. However, this milder weather often comes with a price, more frequent windstorms and increased risk of flooding, especially in low-lying areas. Streets can become waterlogged, and local businesses may face unexpected closures due to storm damage. 
Air travel is often delayed by these intense storms causing frustration for travelers and airlines alike. On the bright side, roads are less icy, making daily commutes and deliveries safer and more reliable for most people. Ski resorts, however, may struggle with a lack of snow leading to fewer tourists and economic losses for mountain communities. Meanwhile, farmers in southern Europe worry about drought, as the positive NAO can bring drier conditions, threatening crops and water supplies. In contrast, a negative NAO winter brings a deep chill across the continent. Energy demand soars as people try to keep warm, putting pressure on energy supplies and causing prices to rise. Families may find themselves budgeting more for heating, and vulnerable populations can be at risk during prolonged cold spells. Heavy snow and ice can shut down airports and highways, stranding travelers and halting the movement of goods. These disruptions can lead to huge economic losses affecting everything from tourism to supply chains. Yet not everyone loses. Ski resorts thrive with fresh snowfall, drawing visitors and boosting local economies. But at the same time, southern crops face the risk of frost damage, threatening farmers' livelihoods and food supplies. Governments must plan for both scenarios, stockpiling energy reserves, organizing snow removal, and preparing emergency response teams to keep people safe and services running smoothly. The NAO creates winners and losers every winter, shaping who enjoys the season and who faces hardship. Its influence is felt in every corner of society from mountain villages to coastal cities. Understanding its impact helps everyone prepare, families, farmers, businesses, and governments alike. By staying informed, people can make better decisions, whether it's stocking up on supplies or planning a winter getaway. The stakes are high, from heating bills to food supplies, and the NAO's influence reaches into every home and community. Scene transition. The NAO is notoriously unpredictable beyond a week or two. Lenina gives us a hint, but the NAO can flip quickly, mild one month, frigid the next. Other factors, Arctic sea ice, Siberian snow, stratospheric events, can all shift the pattern. Sudden stratospheric warmings like before the beast from the east are wild cards that can change everything midwinter. Seasonal forecasts are guides, not guarantees. For 2025 to 2026, Expect a mild start but a real risk of a cold, snowy finish. The best advice, be ready for anything. Scene transition. So, what's the bottom line for Europe's winter 2025 to 2026? The NAO is the main driver positive means mild and wet in the north, dry in the south. Negative means cold and snowy in the north, wet in the south. La Nina increases the odds of a negative NAO later in the season. Expect variability. A mild start could flip to a severe finish. Households should prepare for possible spikes in heating bills. Governments and transport authorities need snow plans and energy reserves. The NAO's tilt will decide if winter is stormy or frigid. Stay alert to forecasts. This winter could bring surprises. Understanding the NAO gives you a head start. Stay safe and be ready for whatever winter brings.